Hello and welcome to the beautiful Forest of Dean. It is so nice to be out in some woodland. It is so calming and it's something I miss a lot. I'm here today to hopefully catch a glimpse and photograph wild boar. Now, the Forest of Dean is probably the best place in the UK to find wild boar, but that does not mean that it's easy. I think previously there were around 2,000 in this forest. They probably became a bit of a nuisance. They do get cold now, and I think the amount of boar tend to be kept at around 600, which is still a pretty sizable amount. However, A, I've never seen them. B, they can be quite elusive. So I'm going to have to be pretty quiet and pretty camouflaged and just sit and wait. I've seen loads and loads of evidence of wild boar in this location and I know that they like bracken and trees that they can run into and then they'll come out and they'll feed on the grassland. When I say evidence, I'll show you some now. They really do make their presence known on grass. They dig up loads and loads of grass in the hope to find little invertebrates and worms and things. My plan, this could be stupid or it could be a masterstroke. I'm assuming if you're watching this video, then I've probably done all right. I think I'm gonna stick around here and just wait. Use my ears, see if I can hear anything. Because I think if I go for walking, I'll end up spooking them. I think and I hope my best chance is to sit and wait. But yes, I'll get settled and uh, I'll probably be speaking to you with a hushed tone from now on. All settled in now as you can see. I'll show you what I'm looking out over at the moment. I don't think I have to be too camouflaged because by all accounts their eyesight isn't wonderful. The main thing is their sense of smell and I don't really want to be moving. In terms of sense of smell, if they are going to smell me it's going to be sweat because it's a lot warmer than I expected today. But that's probably too much information. For context, it's currently mid-March, which should be a good time to get humbugs. Now humbugs is what people call little baby wild boar. I'm not going in with any expectation. If I even just see a wild boar, I will be absolutely ecstatic. Seeing as I have never ever done this before, I don't know how long my patience is going to last. I don't know if you get it, but sometimes when you're doing something completely new, you feel like if you've not seen anything for about 45 minutes to an hour, maybe you're in the wrong spot or you're just doing everything wrong. <sighs> we'll see. It is wonderful listening to all these woodland birds though. There's all sorts here. Guys, unbelievable news. I've just seen my first wild boar. <sighs> a man named Glyn came over here. He's another wildlife photographer and started chatting to me and said, all you've got to do is wait. They're fairly tolerant of people. As he was telling me this, a wild boar just came along an animal path, looked straight at us, sort of came a little bit closer to us and just slowly walked off. Oh my God, that is magical. Right, 
Well, I know that there's wild boar in the area now. So I think I'm just going to stick here. I may move slightly if the uh, if the light changes. <sighs> Literally, an hour I've been here. An hour. Success. So I've just moved slightly with this tree behind me. It's a little bit more comfortable, but it's mostly because where that sow came through, it looked like she wanted to come into this grassy area in front of me, and I stopped her from doing that. So I've moved back in the hope that she might come back. A, so that hopefully she can do as she pleases, and B, so I can maybe try and get some photos. I've also got this bracken to the right of me. So we shall see. I just wanted to thank Glyn Hodges, who was the man who essentially just showed me my first ever boar. So thank you, Glyn. Much, much appreciated. <laughs> I can't quite believe what's just happened. Um, I've just had three humbugs come within about 10 metres. Oh my God, what a day. Uh, I'm pretty sure they knew I was here. Sorry, I don't really know what to say. Um, they've not gone far either. So I'm gonna probably not talk to you for much longer. Oh my God, right, I'll show you those photos. Stunning, stunning. Too close for comfort for my liking. I've just had one of the females come and check me out. It was probably couldn't have been more than six or seven meters away. I had to go into portrait to just get the head in shot. That was all I could get. Well, I'll show you the photos, and that is not cropped whatsoever. <laughs> heart in mouth stuff I think because I just stayed still it was absolutely fine and she sort of checked me out and then just carried on feeding so that's fine but I think what I'm going to do is back off slightly because if there's mums if she's a mum and there's also the, the humbugs around I don't want to be disturbing them whatsoever so I'm going to move back and uh and just sit and wait around for the next few hours. I mean to say that I've never seen a wild ball before today. <laughs> this has been insane. <sighs> and pretty. Right, I'm moving back. Well, I'm going to have to apologise for this not being an overly coherent end to this vlog because I've basically not had my camera out of my hand for the last two hours. <sighs> you won't believe what I've, what's happened. Well, I mean, I still don't really believe it. Um, oh, I mean, the humbugs came back. A mum came with them. I'm pretty sure I got good footage of the humbugs suckling. Oh God, 
I don't really know how to piece this together as a vlog, so I think what I'm going to have to do is do quite a bit of work in the editing suite and put together some sort of sequence or photos or a mixture of footage and photos. I don't know. That's for future Mark to figure out. Um, but I sincerely hope you enjoy it, even if you enjoy it half as much as I've enjoyed this experience. Then you'll bloody love it. Uh, if you've enjoyed the previous part of the video and you will enjoy the next part, then please consider a like and a subscription. It really does help. And if you drop me a comment, I'll be sure to, sure to message back. Thank you very much for watching and I'll catch you on the next one. Cheers. Please stick around for the next.